The work policy defines the relationship between the three work and resource building blocks, duration, work, and resource units. These three characteristics, known as the work policy triangle, are strongly connected and affect the planning and scheduling of a project. Clarison gives you full flexibility with your project scheduling, allowing you to better plan and execute your work. Let's start by understanding the characteristics and relationships that determine the work policy. The work policy is a triangle where the sides are duration, work, and the resource unit. Just like a geometric triangle, where the sum of the angles is always 180 degrees, the work policy triangle must also add up to the scheduling equation. This means that changes to one of the sides will cause changes in the other sides as well. For instance, increasing the duration will cause the work to increase or resource unit to decrease. Increasing the work will cause the duration or resource unit to increase and increasing the resource unit will cause the work or duration to decrease. When scheduling a task, the work policy must be determined. The three options are fixed work, fixed duration, and fixed unit. Depending on the selected work policy, Clarison will maintain the side of the triangle that the user has set as fixed. In addition, the user can decide to manually set an additional side, so Clarison will be forced to automatically calculate the third side of the triangle. Let's take a look at how to set the work policy. For starters, you can set the default work policy for the organization in the System Settings screen. The out-of-the-box Clarison work policy is set to fixed duration, as it is the most common policy used in the project management world. Once the default is defined, each newly created project will be set with a selected work policy. The default can be changed at the project level by the project manager, allowing for full flexibility for each project manager and project. Furthermore, in cases where an individual task requires a different work policy, the project manager has the ability to override the project default directly in the task's property card. Now let's take a look at a project. The duration, or length of time a work item will take, is set at the task level. This duration is then rolled up into the milestone and project automatically. By default, the work is also set at the task level, but, unlike the duration, the work can also be set at the resource level. In this case, the task work will get calculated by summing up all of the resources work. The unit can only be set at the resource level, as the unit determines the resource availability for the specific period in the task's lifetime. Clarison automatically calculates the values of duration, work, and unit based on the selected work policy. However, you can choose to manually set a value simply by entering the relevant value. When a field is manually set, an indication appears on screen, letting you know that this field is no longer calculated by the system. You can easily revert this value back to the calculated value by clicking on Revert directly in the editor. Let's take a look at some rules of thumb related to work policy calculation. As previously stated, the selected work policy, whether fixed duration, fixed work, or fixed unit, will never be calculated by Clarison. Clarison will never override a manually set value unless there is no other way for Clarison to calculate it. For example, let's take a scenario where your work policy is set to fixed duration and the work has been manually set. If you decide to manually set the unit on a resource, then Clarison must override the work value you entered in order to properly calculate the work on the task. In tasks where no resource has been assigned, the manager is considered the sole resource and therefore, the unit is the manager's availability, even if it is not visible on screen. Adding or removing a resource from a task will affect the work policy triangle calculation, similar to the effects of changing the unit on any given resource. To learn more about Clarison, be sure to check out the other tutorials available in our training center and our wiki help site. We also highly recommend signing up for one of our daily live beginner or advanced webinars, where one of our Clarison experts can answer any of your questions. If you haven't tried out Clarison yet, be sure to do so with our free 30-day trial. Thanks for your interest in Clarison. See you back soon.